So PSMA PET uh, describes uh, molecules, a small molecule that binds to the prostate-specific membrane antigen. Uh, it's an imaging study. Uh, the agent actually localizes to the tumor in about an hour, so you can image the patient an hour later. Uh, and it has a very high detection sensitivity uh, because of the high uh, sensitivity of positron emission tomography, or PET-CT, for the detection of these radio-labeled uh, ligands as they localize in the tumor. And so imaging patients with PSMA PET uh, can really help us see where these very small sub-centimeter sites of disease are in patients which we never would have known previously whether or not there was actually disease. So uh, we're in radiology, so the term trial has a slightly different meaning. Uh, we don't really do phase three trials as you would in an oncology setting, uh, but there's been lots of retrospective data uh, that have been performed particularly in Europe and Australia, which describe, and they use the term detection sensitivity, which is if you have biochemically recurrent patients, uh, what percent of patients do you see an AVID node, a PSMA AVID node in? And so most of the data shows that when you have a PSA of less than one, you can see a uh, site of recurrence in about 60 to 70 percent of patients, which is much, much better than conventional imaging like CT or MRI. Uh, we at UCS have just finished the first prospective uh, phase two slash three trial uh, in the U.S. under an FDA registration trial, and so hopefully by the end of this year we'll have completed our data and published that.